Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Uh, this is the second time trying to record this. The first time was a little a little too long, so I'm going to try to shorten this up as quick as possible. Uh, so here we have Groot, I mean Savannah, and a company with that wonderful owl. If you just saw the owl then. Uh, okay, so let's go right into it. So this build is a support build. Since he has a guardian, I will go over some other items for tanking, and I'll also go over what you can do for a little bit more of a hybrid build on Savannah. So let's jump right into it. So first things first is actives. Actives, I would highly recommend getting Blink, um, because you may hear me comparing a Savannah to with Geb, uh, their scalings are pretty much almost the same. I think they have the same HP scaling, so and almost the same ulti. So you, you may want to compare those two. Except the difference is Savannah has no type of movement speed increase. He has no type of initiation ability. So I strongly, strongly recommend buying Greater Blink uh, for the short 45 second cooldown, um, so you can keep using you know, your ulti and. And whatnot, and then uh, as soon as after you use Blink, I would highly recommend buying one of the curse items. Uh, you know, adjust accordingly. We can curse to shut down the healers or high health regeneration gods, and then feebling curse to shut down those assassins and or hunters. So uh, pick whichever one you need and just roll with it. Um, so that way, when you blink in, you know, you use your feebling curse. That way, the, t the entire enemy team is slowed down. So that way, you can adjust on who you want to pick off. Uh, you know, pull in, or you can just straight up just use your ulti, and then the boom, they're knocked up, and that should give you know your your team enough time to respond and uh, you know get to you. So first things first is well, not first thing. Second thing <laughs> it would be going over all the items. So if you're starting out in conquest, I would highly recommend starting with Watcher's Gift, uh, so that way you get that passive going on, and your gold per five seconds is up there up to par with other team members and then you know follow watcher's gift up with your second item which would be minus boots uh if you check out any tournaments or anything like that this is the meta to go for uh for guardians because as as a guardian you know support you're going to be behind on gold more so compared to all the other gods in the game except the enemy supports the supports they typically you know sit behind as far as level and gold uh, that's that's normal. So Midas Boots and Watcher's Gift will help you out in that department. So outside of Conquest, I would pick up Cooldown Reduction Boots for sure, uh, because your your three has a really really high cooldown uh, at rank one, and without Cooldown Boots, your three is sitting at about a 30 second uh, cooldown, which is extremely long. So we want to get that short as possible. And also, as soon as you start leveling up your three, obviously the cooldown gets lower and lower. And then with Cooldown Boots. It lowers it even more so that we can use your three to pull in more people uh, more often especially if you're not that good and you miss uh, somewhat often next it will be sovereignty it's the core tank item to have on all your you know, supports uh, main reason is the aura effect so that when you team fights you have bonus protections for your allies and everything like that uh, the next will be a magical defense item slot and it kind of depends on who you're fighting against and what game mode uh, if you're in assault i would probably get Sona Gaia, obviously Make sure you're fighting against magical gods, or else this would not work. The uh, reason why I stone a guy is because of the high HP 5 and MP 5, and also the passive, so that way you keep more sustain, and you can stay more often in the assault lane. And also, you know, start doing more fights more often, you always be ready. Uh, if not, I'll probably go Borg of Hope, main reason because the HP and high magic protection, the passive is alright. Uh, or if you're going against high health regeneration gods like Hercules, Shock, Vamana, or healers, you know, then go the Pestilence route as soon as possible so you can shut down those healers. Um, so that is that. Now you may be wondering why I have Gem of Isolation on here, but what I was looking at, yeah, it gives you HP and mana, so that's good. I mean, you get HP, you'd be a little more tanky. But the passive, specifically, <laughs> can't talk today. Uh, the passive, enemies hit by your damaging abilities will move 25% slower for 2 seconds. So as soon as you blink in, or whatever the case may be, and you use your 2, your wisp, and it shoots out those wisps, much like Z uh, Zonkui's ulti, it does damage over time, and it keeps, you know, shooting at them. So that first damage tick, um, which is everybody within this radius here, uh, they would be hit with the Gem of Isolation passive, so they'd be moving 25% slower, uh, and it keeps refreshing because Wisp is a damage over time effect. So team fights, that's really, really great. So it's like a free Feebling Curse or a Creeping Curse. Uh, so I would highly recommend that as well. Uh, next, if you want to up your heals, Rod Asclepius, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, it's really great. You get increased movement speed because Savannah is really slow. Magic power, all right. We can go a little bit more hybrid. And the health, you know, we have the HP to make us a little bit more tanky. 
and the Ur effect, which is what increases our heals if you want to increase your heals. Now, if you don't really care for your heals, uh, you could probably switch that out for other items, like probably another physical defense item. Another physical defense item I would highly recommend would be Mystical Mail, because supports are always in the front lines, they're always around their enemies, and it also combos well with your ulti, or when you pull somebody in, they start getting ticked with that Mystical Mail passive Ur effect, and then just when you pop up your ulti you get more damage out of your mystic amel so if you had to pick up another physical defense item in your build i would highly recommend uh, mystic amel even though it's a little pricey finally uh, another magical defense item uh, i'll probably pick up sona guy so if you want to go a little bit more hybrid um uh, first let's just look at our stats with this build our hp is sitting really high 3710 and our defense is is pretty pretty good uh, like I said, if you want a little bit more defense, I'll probably just switch out the, the healing rod and pick up another defense item. Uh, another good physical defense item would be Breastplate of Valor, so that way you can use it three even more often. Uh, so those are you know those optional items you may want to pick up. Now if you want to go a little bit more hybrid, I would drop the last item, uh, which would be a Sonic Guy, and pick up the Ethereal Staff. So with the Ethereal Staff, we sit at 4,210 HP and then 309 magical power. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up there for the video. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll answer them as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.